you guys that look at my Twitter feed, you might realize that I do devote a lot of my tweets to people that are in Hollywood that like to kind of look at my tweets from a distance. Just kind of scout them out and say, what's this guy talking about? Because you got to realize that Hollywood, in Hollywood, some of the most advanced spirits are there because it takes a lot of lives before you can own great art like a lot of the talents there do. A lot of lives. So a lot of these people are past the 90% mark. They've already lived 90% of their lives. They might have 100 more left. They might have 200 more left. They might have 30 more left. But the whole point is this. They're going to come back and tell you you can do all the things that I can do. You need to test and prove yourself faithful and worthy to do all the things I can do. And that means knowing all the things I know. And that means I have the opportunity to teach you, the Hollywood celebrity, where the pieces fit. The things you need to prove to test and prove your divinity. Guys, Life on this planet is very easy right now. Very easy, especially if you're a celebrity. It's time to do it. Time to put the work together. What do I need to know? I have faith. I'd like to teach stuff to people. Well, you don't have to teach it to everyone. If it doesn't resonate with them, then don't worry about it. You don't have to force the beliefs on anyone else. But if you know something is true, and you know someone might need a little bit of help, or you know someone is ready to learn what you have to teach, then it's time to teach them. And that's how intelligence is gain over your lifetimes when it comes to the things of faith. The things of faith have to be taught. They have to be taught and then tested and proven. The greatest resource we have, whether you say it's God the Father or God the Son, they're both perfect beings, but the greatest resource we have is God and He's not here right now. He's coming back soon though. We've had thousands of years in our past where we're walking around wondering, does God exist? What is the meaning of life? What's the purpose of all this stuff? Well, God has left, and it's for us to decide what we will do to the planet. And a lot of people have decided to do some bad things, and we know that. The great news is, is that people are getting smarter, and they realize that hurting your neighbor doesn't really profit you. It doesn't really profit you. If it's revenge or vengeance, maybe it feels better. But the whole point is this. When we talk about violence, that's stuff to corral the, sh the, uh, the cattle. It's stuff to corral the apes that don't want to reform. But if people are smart enough to realize you gain, gain more out of life, if you're stable, if you can get along with your neighbor, if you can each increase your score when it comes down to earning money or being great at something or enjoying life, whatever it is, you can help each other is the point. If you can help your neighbor as well as Jesus Christ, you will be certified perfect and divine. And there's no one as great. We get exalted by helping our neighbor. There is no other way. Help your neighbor. Help out that guy that needs your assistance. That's how you get exalted. Of course, testing and proving mastery, being able to make a lot of money might be really important to you. Because money is fun, isn't it? Because you, have, you, you won't have to worry about being in a perpetual prison because you can't do what you want to do. Money open up, opens up opportunities, guys. I need, you, I need everyone, within the sound of my voice, whether you be in Hollywood or not, to be willing to be alive inside. Be alive inside, guys. Take the challenge, overcome. Take the challenge and overcome. A lot of us have lived bad lives in our past. Everyone, by the time they're about the 90% mark, has lived at least a few bad lives. And this, those lives are devoted to helping us understand the gravity of iniquity, the gravity of sin, and the ugliness of it. And once you know, you don't have to repeat those mistakes anymore. That's the good news. You don't have to repeat it. And most people that have become smart enough not to dip into the pot of corruption, most of those people are living great lives. They're being very successful. Pretty soon they'll be close to mastery. And once you hit mastery, you'll be able to own your own planets and stars. It's that simple. Own your own planets and stars. There's no one that's going to want to incarnate to your planet unless you have a master to regulate it. Our chief master is actually God the Father, the guy that's been watching us and regulating things throughout the eons of our progress. Uh, Jesus Christ the Son is a new God. He's a new God in the sense that, well, he has only been a master for a certain amount of years, maybe 7,000 years. I don't know how many really, but he's a young God. Specifically noted in the scriptures, he says that 
he's actually talked about myself in one of my past lives he said that there are no men born of women that are greater than John the Baptist and then he goes on to say except for himself and he even says that in the community of the gods he who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than myself well, of course he's speaking of John the Baptist is greater than he John the Baptist and he says and that is none other, none other than myself he a master he's a god he can do all things and when he comes back guys he's, he's going to come to show the payout that he's ready to gift all the faithful all that cared to do his work when he was away them having faith and being cultured in the things of faith to know the importance of teaching the principles of righteousness and all the principles of righteousness are guys is are the principles of sustainability sustainable life choices that's all that righteousness is those that had the faith and willingness to put forth the proof that they want to do things the right way are going to be rewarded and if you want to suck up to him now now is the time make his return great it's time to make his return great guys he's only going to come once and if we make we give him a miserable load of souls to collect a small number of souls to collect when he comes back what kind of showing is that that's weak sauce that is weak we can do better than that if you have faith you need to obligate yourself to do better than that and if you're in hollywood you probably have faith because you're an advanced soul if you can own a market of talent as you do in hollywood you're probably among the most advanced souls on the planet you probably have at least 90 percent of your life's complete most of you have at least 95 percent I, I would wager of your life's complete and that's why you have the competitive advantage because you have all those, all those lives where you learn how to do all this cool stuff that no one else has actually learned that is younger than you or very few people have learned that are younger than you and your upside is greater the older you are until you're as old as me where I can do anyone's job I just need culture and time I haven't tested and proven all that right now in this life because I've tested and proven in past lives but I have the intelligence on my soul to recapitulate that that uh, those performances so what I've tried to do is get Hollywood to help back me hey come out of the woodwork and say hey look I'm a celebrity I have resources let me help you get what you need if you want to start out, out as a writer actually I want to start out as a writer writing the best stuff in all of Hollywood no one can top me anyways it's an easy game easy game to know how to write the best stuff because no one else has hit the same cap if I can do everyone's job then I've hit all the caps I need to to test and prove myself capable of being number one under the sun right beneath the threshold of mastery and of course I would have had to have proven those things on other planets because we haven't had movie technology for much more than a hundred years so yeah that's the answer other planets other planets I want to live probably about 21 lives on this one guys I need your help if you're in Hollywood I'm not trying to take your job I'm just trying to do a job no one else can do which is to say direct the best productions the best productions and all the best directors will feed off of it and they'll say hey we gotta do what he's doing at any rate guys no one can top me at this game I've been there done it I've been there done it I say it's important to do it because we need to invigorate the people when we invigorate the people those of us willing to teach them about sustainability of course there'll be hundreds of thousands if not millions of people ready to learn You'll be able to do that on the side. You don't have to do it through your video, or sorry, your movie, or your TV show. You can do it on the side. Teach about this stuff. Teach everything you're willing to teach. If you're not willing to go the extra mile that other people are willing to go, that's fine. At least you're improving your score if you were, were willing to do less in the past life. But eventually you have to cap out and do all the things I can do. So follow the example, the teachings that I integrate into my life. And on Twitter, I've I've really beat up a lot of people that I admire, and I, that's why I want to beat them up and say, "Hey, look, you can do much better than that." I might call them out for doing some. One of the things I call people out for doing is fornication. Hey, guy, don't fornicate because it's going to screw up your spirit progress. Don't fornicate because it's not divine. Don't fornicate because it's animalistic. Don't do that. Keep it aside. And if you need to, if you need to 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 pleasure yourself, might as well 
do it without a person because I'll tell you, with the person it's going to screw up your life resume, person or creature. It's going to screw up your life resume and it's going to make it hard for you to certify yourself divine because God's not going out there sleeping with horses. God's not out there fornicating and cheating on his wife or wives. I would say he has many wives. That's what I would tell you. But at any rate, guys, you're ready. Easy life. Easy to live it. Easy to adjust. Become stronger. Follow the principles of the Savior. He can do all things. He knows what I know. He knows who was who that reincarnated. Knowing that I was Adam, the first man, might help you out. Knowing that I was Abraham might help you out. One of the most important lives, when we talk about stuff that is canonical, stuff that is canon, or rather, scripture, is the scripture that was mentioned in the book of Malachi. Behold, I will send Elijah the prophet before the great and dreadful day of the Lord, and he shall turn the hearts of the children to the fathers and fathers to the children, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. The importance of that scripture is to know who knows where the pieces fit. The fathers do, though those that have tested and proven themselves, I know who they are. Harrison Ford has a great grasp on reality and God's priesthood and faith and the arts and all that kind of good stuff. You can put him as a father. Father Enoch, he's a father of the priesthood. He's got ability in the priesthood and faith. The priesthood greater than virtually anyone that's ever lived on this planet. Virtually anyone. My, my brother Chris Nelson, He's one of the very aged spirits also, tested and proven, faithful and fruitful as an intelligent being to God. And he's tested and proven much divinity in his past lives. There's other people too. The prophet Jeremiah is in Hollywood right now. He, we call him Jared Padelecki. There are many other people. You want to talk about saints and apostles and so forth. You want to talk to Apostle James? You've got to talk to Anthony Anderson. Anthony Anderson, I have one very strong witness that that was his, that was his past life. I say one because you're supposed to get two before you declare it divine and divine sent. Because if God wants to own the work, he'll give you two witnesses. I wanted to know who he was. I got that first witness. I haven't bothered for a second one. Let's get that from Anthony. If it comes to Anthony, then he'll know that he was. A lot of you, all the greats are in Hollywood because they want to improve their artistic score. They want to test and prove themselves faithful and fruitful in that, in that regard. Uh, Idris Elba has a life called Simon, at least that's what his spirit says. So he was probably Simon the Zealot. Maybe John, maybe John Jones thinks he was Simon the Zealot, I don't know. You know, here's the thing, you need two witnesses. And the witnesses I've had about Idris Elba just came from his spirit only. But I felt impressed to say that he was probably Simon the Zealot. So, guys, I've been mapping out who was who. A lot of them are in Hollywood, some of them aren't. But at any rate, guys, pay attention. Learn this stuff. I give you clues to know who is who for certain. Who is who for certain. You want to talk to George Washington? You have to talk to Bill Clinton. It's none other than Bill Clinton. And it might sound silly. You think, that's really Bill Clinton's past life? Yes. Specialization of labor, that stuff came very easy to him. So when he came back, whoa, this makes sense to me to become the President of the United States for some reason. Well, he's been there, done that, guys. And he knows how to do it well, he knows how to do it effectively and intelligently. When he comes back again, maybe he'll be president again. Maybe he'll switch parties, who knows. I'm just saying, people do what they're specialized to do. At any rate, guys, please listen, learn, and apply. Please listen, learn, and apply so that you can fill in the resume of your life with tested and proven divine ability. If you can find space to help me out, to open doors so that I can get in the production I would like to get, in, get involved with. I wanted to get involved with Fox Studios with X-Men Apocalypse. I'm the first one. Adam was my past life. No one knows where the pieces fit with that movie. I was given a divine witness that I could bring him the $5.6 billion at the box office because I know really crazy stuff when it comes down to the intellect, using God as a resource, knowing where the pieces fit, knowing how to be, create the best art on the market. I know all kinds of stuff about it. And so, I'm just saying, guys, please find some room to help because the process right now for talent and re talent recruitment is shallow, very shallow. Because when you come back, you're going to want to be respected as the talent that you are. You're going to want to be respected, right? You've already tested and proven yourself fruitful. 
you're one out of a thousand or one out of five thousand on the entire planet that can do what you can do. And wouldn't you want to be respected when you come back and pick up where you left off? That is my goal. So you can pick up where you left off, people will know who is who for certain, and you will be able to will yourself your own money, your own house. Someone might live in it for 10 or 20 or 30 years before you come back, but still, it'll be an interesting phase in our development because the wicked will perish at the coming of the Lord. Behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud and they that do wickedly shall be stubble. And if that is a scripture God owns, and that is God's truth, then that will occur. It'll be interesting how, how it happens. Some people say it's because Jesus Christ comes back in his glory. His glory is the glory of the sun as he transfigures his body to emanate the heat and radiation of a sun. People that are sitting outside will not be able to withstand the glory of it. They will perish except they be worthy at his coming. Some people think you need to be mostly good to be worthy at his coming. That might be the criteria, but you need to study out for yourself and feel in yourself that you're going to qualify so that you do not be written, so that you will not be written in the loser's bracket. Do you want to be in the loser's bracket? Do you want to feel what that's like a little bit more? Some of us are tired of losing, and some of us do not want to be on the losing side of history. If you're with Jesus Christ, you will be on the winning side of history. He's tested and proven all things undefeated in all things, tested and proven. Tested and proven master. No one is greater. Perfect man, our chief regulator. Let's make his return something great. Hollywood, I need your help. Many of you have faith. You can either be alive inside or you can be dead inside. It's your choice. If you be dead inside, you're going to be miserable. If you're alive inside, you're going to feel great and great about your life. And that's what I want you to feel. So, I'm ready to collaborate. How about you? Name's Bruce Nelson. I'm here to help, please, Hollywood, elect me. Elect me to lead so we can fulfill the prophecy in Malachi because if we don't, the Lord's going to come and smite the earth with a curse. If I can't teach what he's required me to teach, he comes and smites the earth with a curse, and that's going to be nasty. He can smite it with a massive curse. Let's send a little asteroid right there they can't deal with. Let's send this world into a state of turmoil and uh, just misery. Do you want that? You can vote for it also. I don't want that. I think it's a bunch of crap. You should want something better for yourself. So put me in power. I'll help turn the hearts of children to the fathers. The children screw up the world. The fathers know where the pieces fit. The fathers need to be empowered and respected as true leaders. And I've told you who a few of the fathers are. Anyways, guys, please listen, learn, apply. Please show support and we can make this world great.